I'd like to demonstrate our cross flow sheet connector and this connector is going to allow us to pass information from one flow sheet onto the next flow sheet and so to demonstrate that I have an amine unit that's all set up here we have our sweetened gas and now we'd like to send that sweet gas onto our dehydration unit which is the second flow sheet that we'll see here in just a second and so to use this cross flow sheet connector it's found in the Promax streams shapes category and I'm just going to grab the block and drag it onto my flow sheet and when I let go it's going to come up with a list of all my other flow sheets and allow me to select the one that I want to pass my information to so I'll choose my TEG dehydration page when I click OK now I just need to connect my sweet gas to this connector and this is directional and so I'll just need to rotate that around since this is the information being passed to the other page I'll connect the sweet gas into the back there and so now that's connected on this side and if I go to my dehydration page in the bottom left corner it can be kinda hidden sometimes but it's always that bottom left corner where the other end will appear for me and so this is the other end that's now going to go into my wet gas so I'm gonna connect that so it can pass that stream information here as soon as I make that connection, a somewhat common error you might see is shown here below. And what this is saying is that my DHI page environment does not contain one of the components that I'm trying to pass to this page. So my amine unit had my amine, my MDEA in it, and my dehydration page does not have MDEA in its environment, and so I can't pass information over because the component lists don't line up. So there's two things we can do about that. One thing you could do would be to just add the MDEA to the environment. So I could go into my active environment, and when that comes up, go to my components, just type in MDEA and add that over. That's one option. The other option would be to just choose to tell Promax to ignore particular components. And so if we just don't want to pass the MDEA onto this page, we just want to ignore it, that is also an option as well. If I go back to my amine page, and I'm going to open up my sweet gas here and look at its composition, we'll see that my composition has very, very small amounts of MDEA in it, less than 1 ppm. And so I could just decide, like I say, that this is small enough, we're not going to worry about it, let's just tell Promax to ignore it. So to do that, if I close that window and open up my cross flow sheet connector, go to its process data tab right here in the center is a mole fraction transfer threshold so what this does is if we set a threshold any component with a mole fraction amount less than this threshold will just be ignored so like I said my MDA was less than 1 ppm so I could type in 1 ppm for a threshold and when I click enter I'm no longer going to see that error at the bottom and when I click execute that will actually solve for me, it will actually run, we can see that it's turned green and if I go to the TEG page it's turned green there as well and so now I've just passed that entire stream to this new page I'm gonna open up the cross flow sheet connector again and go to the process data tab and I can click on the cross flow sheet connector on either page and it opens to the same window the only other thing I would mention is we have here a, a list of the properties that it's passing over to each page and so you can see my inlet would be what the conditions are on my amine page compared to the outlet so here on my dehydration page and then the difference here and because we change property packages there may be a very small difference in some of these properties such as our temperature here is 0 0.003 degrees different and so there, there can be a small difference, but these differences should be small, and it will give you a warning if they're large for some reason, and then that's something to be worried about, but in this case, uh, that's going to be just fine. The other thing I would mention going back to this threshold is it's very important that we're very careful when setting a threshold, because Promax is going to ignore any component that's below that threshold. And so we want to make sure we don't ignore components that are important, and so we wouldn't want to set a threshold that's so high that it ends up ignoring other components as well and so that's kind of just 
the warning that way. And if it's just easier for you to add the component to the environment, that is perfectly fine as well. But that's how the cross flow sheet connector works, and hopefully that video is useful for you. Thanks.